Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about how to care for your poultry chicks. So we are going to subdivide this video into five. First you are going to talk about how to give or administer water to your poultry chicks. Then you are going to talk about how to feed your poultry chicks. Then we are going to talk about how to brood your poultry chicks. Then we'll talk about housing for your poultry chicks before we finish off by talking about vaccination of your poultry chicks. So let's talk about giving drinking water to your poultry chicks. Ensure that water is always available for your poultry chicks. During the first three days, give them water that is mixed with a multivitamin to give them vitamins and an antibiotic to kill any germs that may be present in the water. Ensure that the water that you give to your poultry chicks is always clean. Wash drinkers anytime you see them dirty. Okay, then another important thing to know is that you should always try to find drinkers that have little or no spillage. Okay. One of the challenges that your chicks or your poultry can face is having drinkers that cause a lot of spillage. Okay, then the spillage will lead to spread of diseases. Next, you are going to talk about feeding of your chicks. Feed your chicks with chick mash if they are layers. So you'll feed them chick mash which contains 20% proteins. If they are broilers, you should we will start by feeding them with broiler starter, which contains about 24% proteins. Okay, then for your layers, you will you will start with 20 grams per day, then you will increase with 25 after every week. So after every week, you increase by five until you reach 120 grams. When they are almost mature, then you keep at 120 okay if you are keeping layer chicks you should feed them with chick mash for the first eight weeks then you switch, switch to growers mash after eight weeks okay always split the meal into two and feed them into feed them at two separate times during the day however for your broilers you need to ensure that food is available almost throughout the day. Then next, we're going to talk about brooding of your chicks. This is the artificial provision of heat to your chicks until a period where they can grow their own feathers and they are able to preserve the body heat. For layer chicks, you will brood for up to four weeks, but for broilers, you only need to brood for around two weeks. Okay? Provide heat and observe the behavior of the chicks to see if the heat is sufficient. If the chicks clutch together near the source of heat, you know that the heat is insufficient and you need to increase it. However, if the chicks stay away from the source of heat, the heat is excess if is excess and you need to reduce it. Continuously adjust until the chicks are evenly distributed. Okay? Then next, we're going to talk about housing for your poultry chicks, okay? For poultry chicks, they need to be housed in a brooder, which is a house with walls on all sides to make it easier to regulate temperature. Then the housing should have a bedding that is made of cardboard and paper. Avoid using sawdust as chicks less than four weeks or old are unable to separate between sawdust and food so if you use a bedding that has sawdust they will consume sawdust and suffer from constipation then next we're going to talk about vaccination for your poultry chicks ensure that you vaccinate your chicks and practice proper hygiene to prevent your chicks from contracting diseases we are going to talk more about vaccination in detail in the next video so that's all about how to take care of your poultry chicks. See you guys in the next video.